Welcome back and into the first map we go. It's going to be Overpass, the Mongols versus New Happy. Freddy, it's going to be a bit of a banger. Oh, it's going to also be a, a banger that we're going to have to stop for a second because there's only four players in the server. Oh, no, there are five players in the server. Sorry. The, 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 the HUD had me thinking otherwise, but no, we are getting into this. The Mongols with fast aggression towards the B-bomb site. They're already popping through and, and putting a lot of pressure onto Tutu. He's going to get charged down, and he's, he's just going to fall instantly. Lovely opener by Senzu. Takes the first blood. Not only over part of the whole series, however, with his comrade falling, that does spell a lot of trouble for him, because they know he was aggressive there. Lovely oh. frags coming out from Tiger and Spine, and now, after Mongols got that opener, they've fallen apart. Yeah, absolutely obliterated. They overplayed the hand, I, I think is a fair, ass uh, fair assessment of that situation. They were looking pretty good, but now I'm going to be down to a two-on-four situation. It's not the most ideal. Tiger's hit a nice banger already as well. Two of them. Two headshots of him right insane. We're going to be seeing a smoke out in towards heaven. This should be a fairly easy execute. I say that. The headshot does come through. The rotation now going to be going up through connector. At least one player. The bomb has been spotted. So I'm assuming though. I'm not going to be too worried. Zeno. Rather. But uh, I'm happy going to continue on through. I was expecting a little bit more from the Mongols initially, but they did get that alliteration. Oh, headshot. Not going to be coming through. So M0 going to be in trouble. Never mind. Still going to be able to hit it. Now looking onto Nightmare. Able to get that kill. Tiger. Left in a 1v2. Unable to connect the shots. And that's going to be a 4k for this mad lad. Okay, Mazzino, 16 years old and showing us how it's done. That is a very, very nice start to the game for him. Uh, and yeah, really good for the Mongols. That was a round that I was not convinced was going to go well for them whatsoever. You were saying that they over-aggressed and they played too much their hand. I, I don't necessarily hate what they were doing. because I do. They did have like a nice crossfire. But as soon as Blitz died there, Senzu was just left on an iceberg all by himself. And, and that was his issue. Um, and I think they could have got that first frag and gone away. But they also could have stayed. And like both do work. You just unfortunately it didn't work for them and unluckily for them the bomb does doesn't, doesn't get planted so they don't have any money they're just going to be on this low buy techno getting a little bit too aggressive with the a1s very isolated it's going to give up his life but he does at least take two frags with him before he falls to the grave i i honestly don't think that's enough he's now just given them an m4 which is well yeah an a1 it's, it's going to be a lot of trouble uh that, that gun could definitely cause a big issue here so it does though, 9-10, <laughs> never mind, alright, easy kill onto Tiger. Bang, now he's going for his own kill, but 2-2 oh, two, two going to be far too slow for taking that shot. And 9 is able to finish off Wang, so in the end, pretty good. Only losing two players in the Mongols, that's completely recoverable. All things considered, a very good end to the round. 2 and 0. Oh. And now we get on to the real round. This is when we get into the meat and potatoes of it all. Rifles coming out of a new happy. It's going to be 5 rifles. Uh, 5 AKs. That nice still util set i saw on, on lucy's twitter that you can throw molotovs yeah. through the through the, the the leaves there and nades and really good for not only short but also for the bomb site itself unfortunately it's not around that we're gonna actually see them have much use but new happy science takes some space up towards long they're just moving as a pact and having this default centered around this triple play with especially the bomb on spine we can already see that the attack is going to be centered around towards a bomb site for the for the beginning of the round and now with 2x as well moving himself up connector feels like they will be ending towards a and just taking this space yeah techno did see the bomb so he, he had that early information, which might cause some issues for them if they decide to over-dedicate to just that A site. But we can see that isn't really going to be the case. We've got two players sitting on over towards the B site in the moment. Numbers are wrong, it seems, on the radar. So don't worry about that. I'm trying to figure out how it has even happened, but it doesn't matter. All good. Smoke's going to come down here. 
New Happy. Tried the hand at long, didn't quite work out. And like you had mentioned, the early util usage from Mongols is actually be good there. Because it did delay an initial push through and towards uh, B short. And there we go. Through Monster, they look to go. Senzo is going to be on the other side of Smoke. He's going to get obliterated. But Senzo has a chance, but he's going to get obliterated and through onto the site. There you go. Blitz. Bits of a spray. Not going to land anything. Tiger takes out Techno. This is looking like around four then, but two of the players going to be heavily low. And Knight 10 comes through. Blazing his MP9, picking up two kills, looking in for another one, does a little bit of a jump shot, doesn't find anything too much. He's trying to cause a bit of distraction, allowing his teammates to come through. Now he's going to be left alone, and he <laughs> manages to pull it off in the last moment. That's going to be four kills. We've seen two quad kills what? already within three rounds. Sorry, what a round from 9-10. That is, that's actually unreal. That was a very unwinnable four versus two in the post plans. And now you'll probably be able to buy up an orb. You can see straight away. Yeah, that that, that whole round, you'd, you'd, you'd a double monster play and it just finds no sort of success. Unfortunately, a good spam through the smoke dispatches with one and kind of just leaves um, Mazzinio by himself. However, a lovely retake, not by the team, but by 910. That MP9, it, it just finds every single bullet. That is not something you see every day. And now already with the AWP out, that was a round that New Happy were vying to win. Now they'll be buying up with, because of the bomb going down, but with big lack of utility and an AWP on the other side taking so much space by itself, it gives so much area for the riflers to, to take control as the AWP is just holding so much by itself. Look, right on the A-bomb site. Yeah, that was $2,400 for the, the MP9 kills, which is just nuts in itself. But it doesn't matter because the AWP can't hit. Tiger gets the initial kill. He's trying to open this site up. He's done a good job so far, but he's still going to have to take down Techno, who's still alive and kicking at the moment. Senzo able to get a kill over towards the other side. Techno has a read on this. Chucks down the smoke. Gives away his position. The player's going to push on him, but he catches him. He flicks. Gets the kill upgrade to an AK now. Over towards the other side. New Happy looking to try and open this up as well. There's only two of them left alive. Teammates have uh, been squandered. It's going to be a three-man setup as well over towards this site. Well, it's going to be a slow Tech. push. Yeah, Turner picking up the orb just allows three players to remain here. And even though Blitz might fall on this first contact, he's going to get that information. Well, nope. Does he, he crosses that first hurdle with flying colors and Tiger? He tried to prowl his way up onto that A bomb site, and it was he, he was kind of the linchpin of that round, especially in that three versus four. He kills the orb, he makes the round contentable. Unfortunately, two kills came in in quick concession towards that B bomb site. And if he'd got the frag on the techno, it'd have been a completely different story. But as soon as techno anticipates it and hears the footsteps, the round was already going to be over. It was just a matter of how many players are going to survive and they do it flawlessly. So four players staying alive is huge for the economy of Mongols, especially considering they only had one in the previous round. A yeah, good initial damage on the nade here, but it is going to be a barrage of these players. 9-10 finally makes it land with that AWP, but it's going to be Techno under pressure, but he reacts well with the USP, picks up one, add on to that double kill, and 910 finishes it off with a quick and flashy kill with that AWP, taking down Tiger as the last man on New Happy. This map is already looking just a, it has such a dominant performance from Mongols on already. I'm look, I'm very worried for New Happy. Yeah, well, I mean, like, granted, we are on the um, we are on the C side, and we have only seen one gun round come out properly for New Happy, and that one gun round was a bit of a blunder on the re on the post plant. However, really well done. Back to back rounds, Mongols have kept four players alive. You can see us mimicked in their economy. They were nice enough to at least buy up for another, and it's a bit of a different default for New Happy. I've been centering maybe a little bit more towards connector in the A bomb site, but this time taking a lot of control early over towards B. And this could just be a fast pop. There's going to be very quick rotations with three players already here. And also Techno and Connector. He's been able to stay over in this position because the offer now. Here comes the execute. And it's got no legs to it. Just instant denial from the Mongols. Fantastic slap back here. Senzo's going to have to make sure he can hold on to this position. And that's exactly what he does. 
Ooh. Tiger through the wall hits the headshot. Left in a two of never mind one of v two here as he picks up that kill onto the play and towards monster. Now flicking on over, he doesn't quite spot the player. Blitz misses his shot though. One bullet left in the mag here. Tiger has to be careful. He can only take down one more target. Never mind, make that zero. As Blitz and 910 work together, fantastically there. Decent amount of utility used. And New Happy again stumble with that buy round. They can force into this if they so wish, but it looks like it may just be a half buy. Yeah, that was just a really difficult execute from New Happy. They they needed the smoke and they were sending a player through, but there was nothing else around that. There was there was no weight to that actual pop. And you could see they were getting isolated very, very easily. And they were kind of just throwing consistently themselves at this beat bomb site, waiting to see if anything was gonna stick. And the fact they were actually able to get three kills was was fairly impressive. But look at this, because Spine, he's run through that Molotov without extinguishing it. So 910 has no idea that someone could be a little bit more aggressed. And this could really catch him off guard because he, yeah, he, there's no way he thinks someone has made it past. And now with the majority being spotted towards Fountain, I was going to say that's when Spine could reveal himself and capitalize upon his advanced position. But he makes noise, doesn't expect the AWP to be there as well. So you've got a tale of two people just not knowing each other are there, but the AWP is going to reign supreme and 2x all by himself in a one versus five. The name of the game is damaged right now. However, unfortunately, after the last round, they're not going to be able to continuously sustain the damage they once did. did they once did deal. Mm. Yeah, need, they need a little bit more than that. More than that, especially now with Blitz sitting on 10k, fairly happy. 9k on 9.10. Oh. Also, 9.10, he's just such a snappy orper. I, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see what he's going to be able to pull out if they manage to make it through to land. But that's going to be a big if. We'll have to wait and see. Seven rounds on the board at the moment, looking pretty good. And obviously, if you are just joining us, the UI is bugged. Uh, you can see that 2x, uh, 2x is the fifth player on the Mongols list on the UI, but he is actually playing for New Happy. Uh, and then we're just missing uh, Msinzo. Oh, got that, butchered that name wrong. Uh, is just not listed anywhere. He is nowhere to be seen. That's fine. He is doing pretty good. Maybe we'll have a look at the... Uh, stats at some point but we have got a bit of a pause at the moment which must be a tech pause potentially um a new happy yeah like we're, we're coming to stage of the game now where they have to get the ball rolling nuke is going to be very difficult for them especially considering it was there it's their inter van and we might have something cooking for them and you you, you never know what's going to happen there's always a possibility, but right now with 9-10 firing on all cylinders, he had the AWP out very early on, round four. He's had it for the majority of the game. And Tiger, even though he has had his AWP and he has had some impact, I feel like it hasn't been on that same level of 9-10. And um, it, yeah, like the Mongols are working in very good conjunction right now. They're working around each other. They're not allowing New Happy to get any map control. And when they do, they can't do anything with that. So as we come this gun round, it's the utmost importance for New Happy that they start fighting success because we're coming to the stage now where they're letting this half run away from them. Indeed. Oh, 2 2 like, starts off very nicely, taking down Senzu, who, although only has three kills, has actually had each one of those kills in crucial moments. Techno, peek down in towards Connected Nightmare. You can see on the screen, cross them over. That's not actually his real name, but he gets dropped anyway. 9 10 on to 2 2. It's fine. Oh my god, completely out in the open. Blitz fails to get that kill. And he's actually going to get dropped in the process. Spine. Is able to get that kill, which is important. There's still three players left alive on both teams at the moment. The Mongols have made a little bit of an aggressive move over towards that T spawn area. And coming through with the kill, so 910. That opener is huge. This is probably the biggest opportunity they've had since they got the bomb down on the third round. Yeah, I mean, such good space being taken there by Liang. He and he understands what's happening. As soon as Blitz falls, he understands that there's some space that's being curated. I don't. And yeah, he also knows the AWP is towards that B bomb site because the opening kill 9-10 got. So it's great awareness, very well played. However, has he done enough? Because Techno now, one versus three. He's acquired the first frag. Spine, very low HP, coming from long. Tiger's got to be careful around oh. default. Has he heard Techno though? Noise being made. 
smoke on the bomb. Tiger swings out. He pounces and succeeds, giving his squad their first round. Finally. All right, there we go. Breaking the barrier that now they have to try and get another four rounds on the board, which is uh, going to be an uphill battle. I think the Mongols are going to be able to bounce back from this. It might just be more of a damaging situation for New Happy's economy, although they will be able to force into the following round. At least, uh, not super pretty. They'll be missing a few bits of uh, utility, but they'll be fine. Right off the bat, 9-10. Going to suffer a little bit of damage, but not too much. Those nades getting a little bit scuffed. And he is going to be backing off over towards Long. I do like this aggressive play from New Happy. It's taking a little bit more ground this time around. And they're also being given it by models who aren't fighting heavily for this area. I, th I can understand why last round, because you had Blitz just over-aggressing and you, you had them dying very... A, like dying in a position where you're not going to be getting any map control from your death and you're not going to get any information whatsoever like at least if 910 die here he's got the information they go on the a bomb site right and they can also play together and the rotations are going to be there so they're just going to be anchoring down these bomb sites and right now already good digital damage done to spine new happy though this is a lot more like it they've got a lot of control all the way in short all the way in bathrooms nothing towards long and that's going to make the Mongols' life a lot easier if this A execute comes in. Because they're going to be able to center their attention over towards the immediate threat coming up through bathrooms. And especially with that smoke, it's going to give so much space for Techno and Blitz to maneuver around Spine. Dumpstered with the grenade. Annihilated with the AWP. And now, three players coming up. But it just seems so flaccid. Yep. 910 did just what our player it would have been shown on his radar so they have some extra information here he's now gonna have to watch on over towards long which is a little bit dangerous he does peek in tiger takes him down our techno might be last one it's gonna go in for the rotation but it's gonna be too late the bomb sites are really getting taken but he pushes on through the smoke anyway stops the bomb plant never mind makes it down in the last split second so now senzu and his teammate here can have to push on through 2v2 tiger flicks he misses and Senzo picks up a two-piece. Absolutely beautifully done. It's what you want to see. Eight rounds on the board. They say one is all you get. So much was wrong with that round on both sides. Like, firstly, why is 9-10 peeking out aggressively with 15 seconds left? Especially considering that Blitz has rotated away. They had a three-man defense. Blitz rotates off. That shouldn't be when the time 9-10 re-peaks. And as well, unfortunately, Techno tries to hold his trigger discipline. Does really well. Unfortunately, though, does get cleared by 2x. And 2x does really well to double down. But why is the bomb being planted on truck? You had full control of long. You had full control of bathrooms. You plant the truck. And that's why in the two versus two, New Happy to have to get very overly aggressive because they can't actually see the bomb oh. being tapped. And right now, look at this aggression running through the Molotov into spawn completely takes 9-10 by surprise. But unfortunately for him, tries to walk through that smoke, tries to get a bit cheeky, tries to be the king in the jungle. But the nade, which was going to be used to give 910 vision actually gets the kill on Tiger, and it's a very crazy beginning of the round. It's going to continue in that manner because 2 2 just spams Techno through the smoke. <laughs> we barely started this round, mate, and it's uh, just pure chaos. I, it, oh, there you go. Nice shot. As well, Tenji's got a good angle on towards this position, hits the headshot, running out of bullets, but he's fine now. 2 2, last player left alive here on New Happy. He has picked up the bomb. I will say, one of the things I do love about the new smokes is the fact that that kind of situation can happen. The accidental, uh, <laughs> happy accident nade. I've seen it. I've seen it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's been quite a, big a thing. lot of times. Yeah. Do you believe, do you believe it, Mr. Tom Pickering? No. One versus four. He's got space. He's, he's got nine, ten. Might not expect oh this. Oh, my God. Okay. That's the shot you need. However, he needs to plant for CT here, and I'm not who's going to have this awareness. Uh, you've got a very deep angle being held by Blitz right now. Tutu will anticipate that. Ooh, he's being pressured, though, from every single angle. Senzu, if he falls, that's going to give space to plant for CT. Even though he does die, he's taken so much time away from Tutu. And 
allowed for his rotation to come in. So, okay, close, but no cigar and Mongols. Back to winning ways on the backbone of 9-10. I think he got three or four kills in that round, and that he was the most important factor. Like, they were just running at him, and he was dropping them like potatoes. They were just falling one after another. Yeah, yeah. sitting on 15 kills. Such he's not a... being tested. Like, they're no. not throwing util at him. I feel like every single kill he's getting, he's just holding that angle, and then they just walk into his crosshair. Yeah, I mean, to be fair to them, they have pressured him in situations oh. in which, like, an Orba shouldn't really be able to win, and he's been able to react quickly. Senzu, they're going to have to act back on this line. It's going to be pushing onto slight. Senzu is going to be able to find two kills back-to-back -back there. Picking up the USP, finding his fourth kill. He can't get the ace because Blitz Bad. is hungry. Wow, okay. We have seen so many quad kills today. I think it's four, maybe three. I know it's, 100 it's up three. there. I think it's four now because I think 9-10 got one in the, op in the last round and a lot of them have come down to that these anchoring positions like Senzu really nicely done. He, you, you were mentioning he didn't maybe have the highest of frags but a lot of them had come in very big impact rounds and a, that right there is a clear example of it like those B pops can get very dangerous especially considering that the first frag basically went to way of new happy and they had space to work on that B bomb site, but Senzu mitigates any of those dangers. And now Tutu, who has found a pick in the exact same position before, is going to try go for that, and he will. Alongside Tiger, they are going to jump onto this opportunity. It's Rumble in the jungle, and right now it's a two-man advantage for New Happy. Oh, they hit three. <laughs> three man, and it's going to be Blitz alone over towards the B site. I'm not quite sure he's going to be able to pull this off. I would love to see it. He's out of the squad. He's probably one of the ones that has experience of being able to do this. And against New Happy, he's probably... This is probably the best chance he'll get at a uh, nice 1v4. Already taken down one player. 2x down. And 2x really hasn't been that present on the server. He's obviously listed on the Mongol side. At the moment, Blitz, though, coming in. Get an initial bit of damage. Tiger should have this angle held, but the Flash is going to be coming through accidentally. Flashing himself there is going to be a little bit dangerous. But he peeks round. He gets the kill. He sprays on over towards Tiger. He runs out of bullets. Picks it up an AK almost. Lands that shot, but doesn't quite manage to do so. We're going to go into a quick break. We'll be back with the second half very shortly.
The question is, is two rounds enough? New Happy, they didn't have the most fruitful of T-Sires. They were being stopped at every single opportunity by 910. He was doing so well and was so devastating with that AWP alongside it. The anchors were just holding steady. And now, with only three rounds needed, this pistol round could end it all. Yeah, and just if, if, if you are new here, the hard is slightly bugged. It is 5v5. New Happy starting out with uh, they have got five players on their side. Although, actually, hang on a minute. Okay, yeah, this is correct. Good, yeah, good. they have five. The Mongols have four because Tiger, yeah. a very nice opener on the Techno, he's still hanging around, though. Um, they, they might not expect this because he's in a position they're not going to clear. And especially when they're walking out now, he could definitely catch one looking the other way but very nice turning on a six pence senzu puts it back to a four versus four and sails all the rotations up so with a minute left on the clock the mongols well the world's their oyster right now yeah senzu said shut up <laughs> he, he's got this handled bait. yeah he ain't worried checks his uh well checks his six does it work good job and now they carry on pushing. They're being silent about this as well, which is going to cause a little bit of shakiness from a New Happy, who are now going to have to go for that rotation. You see them pushing up. Spine and Nightmare going all the way up. Should have a decent opportunity here to be able to go in for this defense. You can see the double nade stack. Looking to go in for the counter plant. One hits. Second one does land, but it's a little bit too late in the day. So the bomb is planted. Playing around, trying to work out, but it's going to be Senzu with the first initial kill. Blitz with the headshot of his zone, but coming through, Senzu picking up his third kill of the round. Can he get a quad? That's the real question. Yes, he can. Ooh. That is his second quad of the game. Second quarter of the game, five quad kills in the game in total, and they are all from the hands of Mongols. That pistol round started off well, and it, it really felt like Tiger was actually in a position to... to... to basically take the round in his own hands. I thought he was going to flex his mechanical muscles, but unfortunately, get spotted out. Senzu would have been very, would have been maybe wanting to eliminate that nuisance out of the server a little bit earlier on. Uh, and a great end to the pistol round. The nades, you said, like the first one landed perfectly. The second one was just so late. I don't really understand that disjointed use of, of, of utility. And now it's going to be a force buy with everything on the line. You happy? It's not the most fruitful of purchases. And now they don't have many players alive. It's going to be a nice little retaliation from 2x, however, as he swings in the short. He swings into the grasps of Blitz. Bomb will be acquired. And Tiger, unfortunately, there's nothing he can do. No heroics today. And even though 910 was marvelous on his AWP, Tiger's going to have to do a lot with only a scout. And currently on the opposite side of the map. Yeah, I don't really think this is feasible, so we're going to be looking at pretty much the penultimate round here. Unless Tiger can pull something out. I think there is actually a dropped gun down here. He could go for at least a 5.7 uh, as well, but that would be hard for him to spot. Yeah, nice. No, he's going to go for the save. Smart choice. He had no initial entry. He doesn't know where anyone is, aside from on somewhere in the general vicinity of the B-Slide. Not worth it when you've got a scout. Not the best entry gun. Coming into this, if you are obviously just joining us, this is almost the end of this first map. But it is overpass, which was picked by New Happy. Second map will be Nuke, picked by Mongols. And the designer will be Ancient, if we get to that point. But Nuke is not one that New Happy are fantastic on. So I don't have high expectations for them in this series. Whoever does win this will go up against uh, either Tyloo or Atox, which if we get a quick update for you on, if you bear with me two seconds, chat, it is sitting at 6-4 currently in favor of Atox. That's uh, a little bit interesting, actually. I didn't quite expect that. Yeah, that's been a little bit more back and forth than we would have anticipated. It is Atox's map pick of Anubis. Um, of course, some upset that would be if Tyloo lose out here after, I think, just qualifying for, for DreamHack win, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, they they, they, they they qualified for Zhong Nuping, um, and also in the CS Asia Championships. And, well, look at this. Pale to the medal. Last round for New Ha- on site there. 
caving. However, they will give themselves the man advantage. But I say that Scout from Tiger doing some good damage, but Tutu, he had to get something done with that Deagle at close range. And now they know about two eggs. A four versus three turned into a one versus two with everything to do. It's such a tool task. It's such a tool order. He's not had an easy game by no means. And now, the stand up to highest of heights, lurking around the smoke. Mazzino will fall, but Techno trades him 13 to 2, and it's domination over in map one. Yeah, really, you know, really good performance by Mongols. They made very few mistakes. In, in total, they were just yeah. playing very confident. They had decent set plays, they knew how to counter. Uh, yeah, just.